Hey, hello everyone. This is Mark Joshua. Uh, I just want to share something the Lord, I, I believe the Lord is saying right now. I hear uh, him saying that he has nostalgia in his heart for you, uh, that he's thinking of the times you were in love with him and he's calling you back to that time. Um, you know, um, you should know that, that everything I'm saying is... is um, for my love, because of my love for the body of Christ, my love for the bride of Jesus, and my love for Jesus, of course, is everything I'm saying is out of that love. And um, sometimes, even at the table when we're eating here, when, when I'm eating here with my family, I'm start I start to cry because the Lord shows me something. So uh, it reminds me of uh, in 2018 when the Lord showed me a word for 2019, weeping Noah as if in the days of Noah, I believe we're living in the days of Noah, um, that Jesus, that God showed me a picture of Noah crying for all the people that are, that are going to perish, but also crying for the state of, 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 um, of the people. And, um, um, and knowing that he is going to build the ark and be saved, you know. Uh, so sometimes I, I, I really feel like a weeping uh, Noah and the weeping over the things of the state of the body of Christ or the church, the church and um, also the state of the world. Um, so today I really felt, God, you know, in the heart of the Father that He has nostalgia. He's longing for, uh, you know, you know, when you hear a song and you think back of a time, a time period, uh, and you immediately feel the same. Um, the same as that period, that time period, because of that song. Um, it, it, it was like, um, you know the song of Michael Jackson, Remember the Time? Remember the time when we fell in love. Remember the time. That song was just echoing in my heart. And uh, it, it, it reminded, it, it, as if the Lord was saying, remember that time when you fell in love with me, when you did everything I asked you to do. And then I got this uh, this scripture here. Um, this is Revelation chapter 2, uh, verse 4 and 5. Um, in, in this chapter, the Holy Spirit, Spirit is speaking to the church of Ephesus. And uh, he says here, But I have this one charge, to make against you that you have left abandoned the love that you had at first at first you have deserted me your first love this is the amplified classic translation the best translation i i prefer it um so and, th and this is in verse five remember then from what heights you have fallen repent change the inner man to meet god's will and do the works you did pre previously when you, first you knew the Lord. Or else I will visit you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you change your mind and repent. You know, I love it that what it says here that, uh, that he really takes it very, ser very serious, this first love. Uh, he says that you have deserted me, your first love, in verse 4. Uh, deserted, me meaning... Like in the army, you, you sometimes you have deserters, right? People that leave the mission of the army and they desert the mission. They go on their own way and their own path and they leave the army and then they're not on the mission anymore. Uh, it's like that some... He showed me a picture of like uh, an army and, and soldiers leaving the mission and, and just abandoning... What they're called to do and just doing that having their own way um, and that's how we deserted a, a lot of people deserted the first love for Jesus the, the, the way they first loved him and also um, so we need to go back and we need to go back pick up uh, the, the first works we had as also as soldiers like you know, we're, I believe we're living in this, my, my second name is Joshua, and God gave me that name. And um, he showed me that the Joshua, the Joshua generation is coming. You know what I love about Joshua? 
he took the people of God into the promised land, right? So um, he, he, he was in the presence of God a lot when Moses was there at the tabernacle being in God's presence. The Bible says um, that Joshua was sitting there even when Moses left the tabernacle. He was still there in the presence of God. And the, he was so soaked and so he was so formed, transfigured in the presence of God that he exactly knew God's heart. And that's why he could go and obey God completely and also take the, all the people into the promised land. So he, you know, the, the Bible says that Jesus says that if you love me, you obey my commands. But if you love me, that will also strengthen you to obey my commands. And leaving that first love is like, it's not, it's not, you will also uh, lack in, in obedience because if you love him, you have this first love, you obey him, everything he commands. You just obey it, you just do it uh, without even thinking of it. You just do it because you love him and you want to do everything. You want to be with him and when where he goes, you want to go, right? Um, so uh, it reminded me of that as well, like an army and deserters. Like certain people in the body of Christ are deserting him, but I need to repent and come back. And I love what it says here in brackets. It says, repent, change the inner man to meet God's will. That's what repent, repenting means. You know, if you, if you, um, if you feel convicted with, with what I'm saying, um, if you feel like you're, you became a lukewarm Christian, you know, even in my life, I remember being a lukewarm Christian. I remember falling back into sin and getting dreams of hell. Like I could even smell the ashes in hell. It was so terrible. And the Lord was speaking to me to go back. And eventually, after a long period of living a terrible life in sin in Amsterdam as a Christian, I, I, I came back to him because the Holy Spirit touched me and revived me again. Um, and he, he showed me that, uh, that I need to surrender to the Holy Spirit and be guided by the Holy Spirit again. And then I, I remember having a time of dying to myself every day. You know, it's so important that we have a deep repentance in us every day because our inner man needs to completely be surrendered to God's will. Our inner man is our soul. We exist of uh, a body soul and spirit our soul is our will our emotions and our mind but you you know that when jesus says if you believe in me uh, rivers of living water will flow from your inner being when you were uh, born again your spirit was born again and your spirit became one with the holy spirit that, that that's in the bible and in, in corinthians it says that your spirit is mingled with the holy spirit and what happens when you repent, when you completely surrender to God's will, this, this rivers of living water will flow and flood your soul. So your will, your emotions, your mind. And that's what Jesus means when, when you believe in me. And believing is not just like, you know, some people say that, yeah, I believe in Jesus, you know, but they don't live that life he calls them to live. Believing is me, it means it has such a deeper meaning than just believing that he's the son of God. It means that you adhere to him, you rely on him, and you give your life to him. That, that's what truly believing means. Because some people, they don't experience that, that those rivers of living water flowing from their inner being. I uh, experience it a lot because I surrender. Uh, I like to surrender myself every day the Bible, you know jesus says pick up deny yourself pick up your cross and follow me every day that's what we need to do every day some sometimes i ask certain people and i say like uh, uh, i ask them when is the last time you thought of picking up your cross and following him and they they have to think twice and then i know that they're not living that life of, sur of surrendering every day so we need to repent and have this um then you'll know then you have this life of glory in the glory realm where the holy spirit is the living water is flowing from your inner being then then the holy spirit uh, who is one with your spirit will flow and flood your soul and eventually your body will follow and, and then you experience that that love again and this righteousness in the holy spirit you know righteousness in the holy spirit is such a powerful thing it means that you're having right standing with God. 
can you imagine like for example when i think back of my high school i think back of like popular people i you know i never was popular so i don't mind being popular also in the christian world i don't mind being popular i'm not called to be popular i'm not called to be popular in the world jesus says if they would hate me if they hated me already how much would they hate you as my follower so the world will hate us when you follow jesus because they don't have the spirit of god we have the spirit of god and when you're living in truth the people will hate you because a lot of people in the world they hate truth and they hate the light they want to live in darkness so um that's first of all but i remember in my high school there were popular people and less popular people and uh, um, if you would have like this right standing with certain people you will have the status right the status and in the world even when you have a, a job when you get promotion and where you're in circles in social circles uh like with people with 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 a good status um, they they regard you as high right but can you imagine having a right standing like a like a, a, a right standing with god the creator of heaven and earth that you can stand before him and that you understand each other that you know that he knows you and you know him exactly that's what righteousness means it means that you're living right in the eyes of god that you're having right standing with god so that's all be with a life of repentance repentance is actually beautiful it's just accepting god completely and him accepting you completely by you surrendering to him and you know god's will is the best thing there's no what what, the, what has your will done for you right it brings you nowhere you know the the devil is the biggest humanitarian he when jesus uh, revealed himself um when god revealed to peter who Jesus is because he said you're the Christ and then God, and then Jesus says to Peter this is what God revealed to you the father and, um, and then later Jesus says that I have to uh, I have to be crucified you know and then she and then Peter said no you'll not be crucified uh, Jesus turns his back to Peter and then he says Satan go go behind me go behind me Satan because you only do what the what people want so you only want what people want you only want the uh, the will of human beings you know the, the the only commandment in the satanic bible is do what thou wilt the devil wants you to do your own will because then you're not in the will of god but the will of god is is the best thing for your life he, he exactly he exactly knows what you're called to do and created for because he created you he has woven you in your mother's womb and he knew your name before you were even born so his will surrendering to his will completes that that, that plan for your life so uh, living a life of repentance fulfills that in your life it's the best thing you can do right so it says, says here that you need to repent change your inner man to meet god's will and do the works you did previously you know the works i i believe the church needs to go back to the church of acts because that's the the works we did previously as a church right we were on fire for jesus we were uh, the power of the holy spirit came on the church and they became witnesses and they had uh, the miracles uh, they, they, they performed miracles um, they preach repentance with a lot of power and boldness they preach the gospel even when they were persecuted you know paul he was stoned in a city because of being a witness for jesus he was stoned and he laid there as, as if he was dead then the other follow, other followers of jesus um, surrounded him he he rose again i be, even believe that he rose from the dead at that time that he was dead for a time he rose again and he just went on with with blood on his back he went on preaching the gospel in other cities that's what i call a life of surrendering uh witness the word witness also means martyr if you know the the perse persecution will not happen to every christian only if you're truly a witness and how you, do you become a witness when the holy spirit takes over your life when you're completely surrendered the apostles in the book of acts they were controlled by the holy spirit even jesus when he got baptized in the river of jordan uh, he rose again the father says that you're my he, this is my beloved son and the holy spirit came as a dove on him he was also baptized then 
in the Holy Spirit. And then the Bible says that the Holy Spirit took him. He was controlled by the Holy Spirit and he went to the desert. In the desert, he was there for 40 days. Um, he came back from the, from the desert um, to, um, you know, to uh, a village and he started to preach the gospel. And he said, he started to preach the message of repentance. He says, repent because the, God, the kingdom of God is at hand. So Jesus also, being filled with the Holy Spirit, preached with power um, the, the message of repentance. So we need to do that. We need to uh, repent every day. I love it. When I was in America, there, I saw this merchandise of, um, of shirts of uh, uh, the ministry of Daniel Colenda. And it said, repent on the shirt very, in very big letters. I, I, I'm wearing a shirt right now, John G. Lake as well. I, I love to study um, the old revivals and the, the great generals of God. And this is John G. Lake. He was a powerful man of God. He was also living a life of, of surrender, uh, speaking in tongues, the Holy Spirit showing him where he needed to go, and then going to Africa, speaking in tongues there again, and, and then um, seeing that the people understood him while he was speaking in tongues. Then he knew that he had, he had, that he had to be in Africa. It's so powerful these lives. You need to really need to study it on YouTube. You can uh, see you check out the documentary uh, called uh, God's Generals, and you see um, you can really learn from their lives and also their mistakes. So that's so powerful. It's a life of repentance and doing the works we pre previously did. You know, um, I remember you know this nostalgia that the Father gives me sometimes. It's like uh, I remember going into a room and. Uh, uh, hearing a song or just him giving me a feeling that I had before when I st first started believing and him taking me back to that time of having first love for him. He's doing that a lot in my life. And also sometimes he even speaks in movies. When I watch before, you know, when I watch movies when I was young or he's speaking true movies or, or music. And then I think back of my 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 first love for him. So he's, he's, he wants us back and he has this nostalgia he wants to pour out in your heart for you to go back to the first love and also do the works, the works also of the Church of Acts, I believe, and also the works you, uh, um, that really demonstrates when you're living a life that's on fire. The, you know, Jesus wants to baptize us with the Holy Spirit and with fire. I'm going to give a teaching about the days of Noah and a flood of fire. And, and us being, we need to be baptized by fire and be tested by fire here on earth. Um, so I'm going give, to give a teaching about that. But it's all, all, it's all a part of that first love. And, and if you are, deser if you deserted him and the f your first love for him, I just want to pray for you right now. Um, just close your eyes, just raise up your hands to Jesus right now. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, pray with me as well. So here, here it goes. Oh, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. And also, for if there's a non-believer listening, I pray right now that you touch them, Holy Spirit. And if you're not a believer, just pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you, you are my Lord and Savior. I believe that you became sin on the cross more than 2,000 years ago, uh, in, um, outside of the walls in Jerusalem and uh, on on Calvary, you took all of my sins on the cross and you died and you rose again from the death. And I believe in you as my Lord and Savior. I repent of all of my sins and I say, Lord, come into my heart. Be, save me right now and cleanse me with your blood. And God, you are my Father. I believe I have received eternal life. Fill me up with your Holy Spirit and guide me. I need you. I want to live in truth. I want to live with you every day of my life. Help me and guide me. And if you pray this prayer, just read the word. And, uh, you know, join uh, a church uh, that's based on the word of God and know the Holy Spirit. And, and, and that's where Jesus is centered as well. And also uh, for the ones that want to pray for going back to the first love, I want to pray for you now. Oh, Jesus, I pray that you'll touch everyone that's watching. Revive them with your Holy Spirit. I pray that they will have a life of surrender, total surrender, and repentance, deep repentance. 
Oh, what you did for me, Holy Spirit, do that for them. Touch them like never before and baptize them with your fire right now, Jesus. I pray that you baptize them with your, with your fire and they will love you like never before and obey you and obey your commands and go back in the mission you have for them. And that, that, that if they, that they will return to your love, the first love and the works they did before and they will live a life like the life the apostles live in the, in the book of Acts. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray that for everyone that's watching, and I pray that the grace of our Master Jesus Christ, the extravagant love of our Father God, and the intimate friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more teachings, for more encouragements, for testimonies of miracles that I experienced in my in my life. Also, having a healing ministry, be, uh, being a church planter, uh, as well so please follow me uh, and also share these videos um, I, I would really appreciate it please also pray for me and my family uh, I appreciate it I, pre I will appreciate that too uh, I love you love and shalom in Yeshua and I hope to see you next time okay bye bye